the hunt and something just happened. Uh, okay, he has 95 badges, and that's how you get, uh, the egg. Everything just changed, like, oh my goodness, that was, uh, that was beautiful. But, uh, hello friends, welcome back to another, um, episode of the hunt. Uh, today, I just wanted to show all of the items that I have, um, items that I am going to soon be able to get, and just tell you about how you can get some of these items. So, first things first, as you can see, I have the gold items, okay? I don't have, like, the regular items, and that makes it, a <laughs> it looks a lot nicer. I don't know if the regular wings have that effect. Uh, we might check that out in a bit, but there's some items that are a lot, uh, tougher to get than normal items and no i am not talking about any of uh having to unlock 95 badges to get the crown which i am about to do i have 85 badges and once i get 95 i can get the crown and i can also get the egg but there are other items that uh you might not know about for example these these headphones yes they are a lot uh a lot harder to get um because you have to join a um a youtuber and you have to assume that they also are allowed to give you you know the headphones which does make it a lot harder so another thing that i do want to just check out uh pretty quickly is what do the original items look like assuming that you don't have the golden items obviously they changed up the design a bit for some at least that's what it looks like to me okay the wings still have uh an effect but it doesn't look that cool Okay, uh, let's just jump back into the hunt and see what it looks like. And this is if you don't have the gold items. Ooh. I just, ooh, I mean, it, it doesn't look bad, but there's just, like, no glow to it. It's not, like, super shiny. So, I think the gold items look a lot better. There's two ways to get it. Um, let me just go and show you pretty quickly. So the first way to get it is by getting the core blocks bundle, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the core blocks uh, walker. That's what we're going to call it. And you can either get it by getting this, which is a lot of Robux, or you can get it um, from this, which is just getting it uh, for 800. But why does it say free? Well, I think you can get it for 800 Robux, and then that gets you all of these items. Which, if you ask me, is pretty cool. Okay, so another thing that I'm wondering, and this is um, not what I was going to talk about, is uh, what is going to happen? The event is ending in three days. But the badges say that there's 11 days. That, that, that does not add up. Like, at all. So what's going to happen? That's my question. Because this is worrying. Are they going to, like, still take it away? Or are we still going to have it? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Are the badges going to remain the same, but there's going to be, like, a second hunt? I mean, there's probably going to be a second hunt because it says uh, first edition. And why would you say first edition if there's not going to be a second one? Um, another thing that I do want to talk about. Um, you have, like, these limited time offers, um, which go away. Some are actually, like, limited and are a lot of Roblox. Robux. Some of them aren't that much Robux. Um, personally, in my opinion, if you're thinking about getting something from this event, 
Spending Roblox, I mean. Yeah, I would go with uh, the 800 Robux because that gets you the gold items. But that's totally off track. Um, another thing that I do want to mention is that obviously to get these, uh, the crown, the egg, and all of these other items, you have to complete games. Um, and I have completed a lot of them. I'm still missing some. Um, but here's uh, something pretty cool. You can actually skip out on five. Yes. You do not have to 100% the hunt. Another cool fact is that when the egg first released, it actually was 100. You had to get all 100 of the badges. But I do think they changed it to 95 because of two reasons. One Roblox said that, you know, it's not going to be you have to 100% it to get something. So if they had it as, like, an 100% option, it, it would have been odd. They would be backtracking off what they said. They wouldn't actually be doing what they said, um, which is another reason why they probably didn't do it. But uh, the better reason is probably because uh, you might not be able to complete all 100. And... Uh, there's a reason why. So, for example, this is ages 9 and plus. There's another game called The Mimic, which you've probably seen, which is ages 13 and plus. And um, that's where another problem comes in. If you have a younger account, you're not going to be able to do some of these games. Uh, you can always go and do others, of course, like... For example, this one, that's all ages. But then this one, if your account is younger than that, you're not going to be able to go in. Though, to be honest, they do have a lot of all ages, and if anything, 9 and plus. So, that that works. Um, there is, like, the occasional game that is 13 and plus. Um, Doors is all ages? What? Hold on, excuse me. I need to go back to my regular outfit. Ugh, it looks it looks odd. I don't Yeah, the golden items the gold items are cool, okay? Th that's all I'm gonna say. But you know, the regular items are cool too. Uh they don't look that bad to be honest. So I do think that the headphones they are cool, and luckily, you don't need to have, like, the golden items to get those headphones. All you gotta do is you gotta meet a uh, creator, assuming that they can give it to you. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot. Sorry about that! <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, I personally think that the hunt was okay. Now, there's one reason why I think it's okay and not amazing. I, I was thinking about this, and I was going to say that it was amazing, but, you know, I feel like some of these... Something just appeared at the bottom of my screen, I thought. Okay, <sighs> never mind. Some of these games, as I was saying, are just uh, too tough to complete um and i can show you a good example where is it i know it's here somewhere okay it might be on the side uh also there's so many games uh but one that i did have fun with is this one this one was pretty fun do, 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 do. It looks so nice that I've almost completed, like, all of the games. You know what? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. But let me know in the comments down below if you think that I should get all 100 badges or just get 95 of them. Okay. This is the game that makes me not want to do a uh, hundred badges. And this is one of the games that I want to skip out on. You have to oof two people. You have to have a oof streak of two. Now, here's where the problem emerges. Um, how do I say this? 
if you are a pro at the game, it's obviously going to be a lot, and I mean a lot easier for you to complete it, because you already know what you need to do. If you are not a pro at the game, pros will oof you, and you're not going to be able to get the badge. Um, which, you know, that makes it a lot tougher <laughs> to get it, um, which... I just don't know why they would add games like that. But, um, you know, if they listen to me, I don't know if they're going to see this, but here's an idea that I would do. Here's my idea. Don't stop doing hunts like this, okay? We already lost the egg hunt. Nobody liked that. So just don't do that again. <laughs> um, and you got to admit... At least, you know, they did do the hunt. I mean, maybe it's not as good as the egg hunts, but they still put in the effort to try and make the game... <sighs> they tried to make it enjoyable, which, you know... I mean, at least they tried to do that, and I don't want to say that they failed, because I kind of did have fun. You know, obviously, games uh, that did, like, a different story, um, such as Piggy or, um, which one, which one, which one? Uh, hold on, there was a fun game. I'll be Battles, for example. That was super duper fun. Even though, you know, I did struggle with doing the, um, the mini game, we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. But you know, games like that, that was really enjoyable. And to be honest, it's been a while since I played that game. So going back to it, that was actually fun. And you know, it kind of reminded me of when you would try and, um, uh, you know, get the badge, get that crown. The, well, I don't know if it was a crown. I think it was the Hood of Champions, if I remember correctly. But, oh well, I have my own hood now. <laughs> um, games like this. This is a game in a million years I never thought I would play. But, you know, I ended up playing it and I had a blast. Um, Cheese Tower Defense, it wasn't the worst game. Um... But, you know, I do think it's nice that Roblox also, you know, kind of did small games as well, like Cheese Tower Defense. And I know there's others that, I mean, I've never heard of. Um, never heard of this game or this game. <sighs> I remember that game. But they had old games that you used to play back in the day. You had newer games that you probably play now. Um, Steep Steps was okay. But, you know, in the end, if Roblox is watching this and they do see it, I'm not going to say that this event was the best. But what I am going to say is that I think for doing an event like this after, what, three years I think that you did an awesome job. But um, I just wanted to show you what I have, what I'm about to get soon. Um, but I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so I never miss a video, as I said before. Uh, it would mean a lot to me and to us because we are trying to get to 100k. So if you could help out, it would be appreciated a lot. I will see you soon, and bye-bye, friends.